That one got stuck. Bree, because I won that game, free ham hocks for you. I'm gonna make them with my special seasonings of herbs and spices. Let me see if my little rubber band stays, doesn't break. I, I put this on my beard earlier because um, you know when you wake up in the morning, you're like, like that? That's how it was. It's like an ice cream cone. <laughs> you know? You guys know? I know. Let's get uh let's get let's get comfortable. Let's get comfortable. So the story is gonna be about killer poppy. We're gonna call him Poppy Schlong. Killer Poppy Schlong. A killer named Poppy. <laughs> A killer named Poppy Schlong. Two hikers named Bree and Fonzie in in the Savannah wilderness. These nuts. <laughs> got him. Got him. Oh my God. In the Savannah wilderness, horror story. Can I get a high? I can't focus. I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> so write me a short horror story about a killer named Poppy Slong. Two, hi <laughs> two hikers named Bree and Fonzie. Uh-oh. Stinky. Wilderness. Well, I'm okay. It's just, it's just kind of how it is. Alfonso. It just, it just rolls off the tongue. Have you it. ever had a dream that... <laughs> oh, my God. That you... Um, you had, I can't focus. You, I, you, I can't, all right, here you we go. Can, you do... You... you um, did you die? You, you can do so... I got you, shot. You, but you, did you, you die? Can, you, you want... You want to In the Savannah so wilderness. Much, you could do anything? Um... Um... You fast! Rebel 2 ain't fast! Um... It's not even over yet. What do you mean? Don't waste your points. You gotta save them. Okay, Hello, so in a savannah wilderness, now I need something like something deep. Like in a savannah, um, car breaks down and they are drunk. There we go. Ready? Got ready? I got it. So write me a short horror story about a killer named Poppy Schlong. Two hikers named Bree and Alfonso in the Savannah wilderness, car breaks down, and they are drunk. Here we go. Bam. This is gonna be an epic story. This is gonna make Neep feel better. All right, Neep? I got you. Okay, still writing. <coughs> I saw a party talking about... About licking somebody's lips or some shit, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. All right, this song, this story is gonna be called um, The Savannah... The Savannah Poppy Schlong. All right, right? Is that good enough? The so so the the no. It's gonna be called the story. <laughs> the story of the Poppy Schlong of the Savannah. So, there you go. Savannah Poppy Slung. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> Here we go. Under the waxing gibbous moon, gibbous, the vastness of the savannah sprawled endlessly, a sea of brittle grass dancing under the touch of a capric, capric, cap, capricious breeze. Bree and Alfonso, two lovers with a perchant, with a penchant for thrill and wild stories, decided to cap their hiking excursion with a drunken celebration amidst the sec this secluded expanse. Their car, an old rickety thing, sat silent and resigned, its engine dead just a few hours into the wilderness, where no soul could hear its last pitiable cough. With laughter on their lips and a bottle of cheap whiskey to keep them company, the air around them grew heavy with a sense of foreboding. With a sense of foreboding, they were too 
inebriated to sense, unbeknownst to them, they trespass into a territory. shall not pass! They trespassed into a territory marked by whispers and warnings never heeded. The realm of Poppy Slong. Poppy Slong? Poppy Slong, a figure of chilling legend, was whispered to be an insatiable killer who prowled the vast silence of the savannah. Some said he was once a man tormented by an unquenchable thirst for revenge. I'm going to put this right here. That's what I should do. Others claim... He was a phantom harboring ancient wrath. Emotional damage. Yeah, yeah. No one knew his origin, yet his name alone could curdle the blood of local dwellers. This, the night deepened, and Brie, her senses dulled by mirth, M-I-R-T-H, mirth and spirits wandered away from the shelter of their makeshift camp and the warmth of a faltering fire. A sense of unease prickled at the back of the neck as she stumbled into the waist-high grass. To her, it'll be neck high, but that's, you know, that's just, that's just hearsay. Her laughter breaking into staccato gasps. Can I get a higher? higher? Alfonso, wrapped up in a haze of drunken slumber, remained obviously oblivious, oblivious to his friend's absence until a piercing scream jolted him awake. <laughs> Heart hammering with dread, he called out, Bree? Bree? Where are you? There was no answer. Only the sound of the <laughs> Savannah rustling like a whispered conversation between ghosts. <sighs> Frantic, he staggered to his feet, groping through the dark for any sign of her. So he was like, where the fuck she go? Where the fuck you go? Stuff like that. That's when he saw it. A shadowy figure standing impossibly tall, way taller than Bree, against the moonlight sky, eyes gleaming with a malov mal 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 malevolent, malevolent glow. Hold on. Hold on. Poppy Schlong. The name sliced through Alfonso's foggy mind like a blade. He stumbled back, but the looming specter. Emotional damage. He stumbled back, but the looming specter advanced. It spoke in a voice that seemed to see to seep up from a very earth beneath their feet. No one trespasses without a prize. Like that. Alfonso turned and ran. He said, Lady Bree, you're on your own. Terror granting him a momentary, a momentary clarity. But the Savannah was a labyrinth under the moon's pale watch. And he was no match for the enigmatic predator that seemed to be part of the land itself. I am so fucking wet right now. I'm sure you are. He didn't get far before feeling Poppy Schlong presence engulf him. Panicked breaths escaped his lips as the figure loomed closer until finally he felt a, a, an icy grip 
on his shoulder. When Don painted the horizon with strokes of mercy, the, si the silence of the savannah was broken by the arrival of park rangers drawn to the site of the abandoned car. Their search revealed a Macrobie table -lou. table a u table -lou. two figures lay amongst the grass lifeless faces frozen in contorted terror no sign of a struggle no tracks no coconut oil no evidence of any soul of another soul just a whisper that some swore they heard as the wind swept through. The echo of a name, a curse carried across the wilderness. Poppy Slong. <laughs> the end. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> All right. Now we got that out of the way. We never found Bree. We never found Alfonso. But Alfonso, we know. We got proof that Alfonso ran off and left Bree behind. So they both ended up like this. Yeah. Thanks for watching, dudes. For our newest video, click here.